In this presentation, we will take a look at Form 940. 940 is going to be the Annual Federal Unemployment or the FUTA tax return. So the 940 is going to be something that is going to be an annual return, as it says here. And it's really just reporting the FUTA. Now, you, you might think these, these numbers are so close to each other, the 940s, which are the quarterly returns and the 941s, that one, they're easy to get mixed up for that reason. Remember that the 941s, for whatever reasons, are the quarterly returns, and the 940 is kind of like the yearly return. The other thing that's confusing about them is, one, because numbering is so close, and, uh, and two, just because they're both payroll tax forms, it's easy to think that the, the 940 or the year-end form is going to sum up in some ways um, the payments that have been recorded or the types of taxes that are on the 941s. But that's not exactly the case. The 940 reports a completely different federal income tax, which is the FUTA tax, uh, the federal unemployment uh, tax. So note that the 941 is going to be covering all other federal payroll taxes. So the 941s, the four quarters, 941s cover the federal income tax. Uh, again, not for the corporation on their net income, but for the employee's payroll taxes, the income tax, the FIT, and then the uh, Social Security and Medicare for both the employer and employee sides. So those are the 941s. The 940 isn't going to recap that again on an annual basis. What the 940 does is calculate just the FUTA tax, the federal unemployment tax. Um, and the reason, one reason this is the case is that it's kind of a waste of time to record the 941s or maybe it's, it's thought of as immaterial or, or not worth the effort to record the, to report the FUTA tax on a quarterly basis because it's such a, it's a smaller tax. There's not as much being recorded, so um, therefore the requirement is really just an annual requirement. So it's not really that we have quarterly requirements and then an annual to sum everything up. It's more along the lines that we're not going to add the FUTA requirement to be broken down on a quarterly basis in part because it's a smaller type tax. Therefore, we'll allow it not to be reported until the end of the year, although the payments, like in all taxes, should be paid on the way as we go. So because it's a yearly form that's going to be uh, due, it's, it's, we're going to record the whole year's worth of data from January to December, and then it's going to be due by January 31st. So clearly, obviously, the end of the year is going to be a, a big time for you know, record keeping. So we've got to do the, the last quarter, and then we've got to do the 940s. So the 940 will look something like this. This is, And again, you can get this from the IRS. Just go to irs.gov, look up the forms, look up form 940, and you can get an idea of what the 940 looks like. Uh, it'll be much, it'll be pretty much the same typically from year uh, to year, but we do want to make sure if there's any changes to any rates or anything, it will be reflected, of course, in uh, the new, in the newest form. So we want to make sure that you, that you're down, whatever you're working on, downloading the newest form. This is the 2017 form here. So I will have the EIN number. Once again, we always need that EIN number, no matter what type of entity we are in. The employer identification number, name, address. Then we're gonna check the boxes that are applicable up here. Note that it's not the quarters, of course, because it's an annual return. But if it's an amended return, we gotta say it's amended. If there's no payments for an employees in 2017, we wanna have that. And if it's a final return, then we gotta note that. And uh, the final returns can be a bit of a pain. We wanna make sure that we close everything out. <laughs> for um for a corporation in terms of payroll taxes as well as everything else so the first portion is going to tell ask for the state and ask basically have we paid uh the state taxes are we subject to state taxes because remember that the state taxes are that the are, are in some way related suda tax is related to make sure that we have the lower futa rate so if we paid the state taxes we typically have that lower futa rate which is going to be the 0 0.006 or the 0 0.6 percent now, when we calculate the FUTA wages, it's a little bit confusing because you might remember that we talked about the fact that the FUTA has a $7,000 limit per employee. So in, in essence, we're going to be paying FUTA tax up to $7,000 per employee, which pretty much all employees will, will hit that if they've been employed for the entire year, unless we hired them in like December or something or, you know, the last quarter, then they're probably going to be paid $7,000 or more. And so we're going to have to pay FUTA 
for each employee for around 7,000 typically. Now we've already calculated that probably when we did our when we did our calculations in the register to see uh, what our payroll uh, wages are for FUDA, our FUDA payroll taxes. But the way we're reporting it here is we're going to have to say that here's our our payments to all employees, basically what we paid, and then any exempt payments we have, as well as the total of payments made to each employee in excess of the seven thousand. So we're going to have, in other words, to have total payments and minus all, everything paid over the 7000 to get to uh, the number that we basically are going to be using to calculate FUTA, which we, which we probably already have, which is, which is the um, line 6 here, the subtotal. This is kind of like, like our FUTA wages that we'll have to make the calculation on. And that will be here. And then we're going to apply the uh, FUTA tax before adjustments is going to be the 0 0.006. So we'll take line seven, the food of taxes times 0 0.006, that's 6%. And that in essence is going to be our food of tax. Now, if we go down to part three, we're talking about that types of situations where the food of wages uh, you paid were excluded from the state unemployment tax. And that's the case, well, if you didn't pay state unemployment, you're not gonna get the 6% or you're gonna get the higher uh, rate and you're, you're not going to get that exemption. You're going to have to add back in, uh, you know, that that um, that higher percentage for the federal uh, percentage. So if that's applicable, you, we'd have to fill that part in here for any exempt wages from state taxes and pay the higher FUTA tax. Once again, similar to the 941, we would then uh, have our our tax liability that we would calculate here. This is, this is a basically a recalculation of the tax liability because we've already calculated it and paid it. And this is going to recalculate it on a summary basis, meaning we're, we're taking it kind of as a whole and applying the tax rate, which should work because it's a, it's a uh, flat tax. So even though we calculated it as we went on each individual wages, on each individual pay period, it will still work out if we take the total, <laughs> the total wages that are food of wages times the, the same rate. So we're going to report that there, and then we're going to report the FUDA tax uh, deposits that we have made. So we're going to do the comparison, and we're not going to pay the FUDA tax now. We've already been paying it. The government wants their payments as the paychecks are being received, as we take the money from, or we're not withholding money in this case, but as, uh, it be, as employees earn money, they want to be paid their FUDA tax in relation to the employees earning money throughout the year. So we've already made the payments and we're gonna report this. So this form is just a reporting form, in other words. It's not a form to calculate how much tax we owe and then write a check, typically. Uh, if we do, we'll probably owe interest and penalties on it if we're paying if we're paying right now. So line 12 and 13 should be the same. If they're not, then we, we're gonna to have to owe money or we're gonna get a refund on it. But if we did it correctly, then they should tie out, unlike uh, like a 1040, which is impossible to do that. The payroll taxes typically is possible because it's a flat tax. So we should have paid pretty much exactly, exactly what the tax is. And we should be able to just report it now and say, hey, here's a recalculation, a recap of how much we owe for FUTA. Here's a recap of the deposits that we've already made. You can go ahead and verify that those deposits are made on your side of things. And just uh, that'll be the summary report for FUTA. End simulation! End the simulation!